Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and I'm just catching up on a story for us that it's been around for a bit here now, but just want to go ahead and get it covered here. Yeah, the Boeing scandal. Allegations of cost cutting, safety lapses, and falsified records are behind Bowen's plain defects. So yeah, Boeing had the big issue with a flight where the door basically flew off. And it turns out, yeah, they didn't do the proper job installing the door. <laughs> oh. Lever has led national coverage on the safety problems, cost cutting, dark money lobbying, and lax regulations at Boeing and its suppliers. This is why I say we need to tighten regulations there need to be more regulations more checking because we've spent the last 40 years cutting it and look where it's getting us airplane doors flying off airplanes so they can make more money yeah next time a dumbass tells you that we need to cut regulations to make more money. Smack the fuck out of them. Uh, don't smack them. I ain't telling you to do violence, but damn. You'll want to smack the hell out of them. You'll feel like it, certainly. Yeah, after a door plug blew out of a Boeing... 737 MAX airplane over Portland, Oregon. The lever uncovered allegations that workers who made the door plug had repeatedly warned corporate offices and officials about safety problems and were told to falsify records. To lie. <laughs> we want to make more money. So, yeah. Following additional Boeing mishaps and the lever's ongoing reporting on cost cutting, lax regulations, and dark money lobbying at the plane manufacturer. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg denounced a bigger picture examination of any and all quality issues related to Boeing. Look, it isn't just Boeing. This is a corporate pattern. There has been such an attempt to cut costs to make more money that consumer safety don't matter to these assholes anymore. Let's be honest about it. But yeah. This is why I feel a lot of these big weapons manufacturers and Boeing's a weapons manufacturer. They're more known for planes, but they do a lot of weapons manufacturing. They need to be nationalized. At least for a temporary while to force prices to drop and force them back in the row of doing what they're supposed to do. Because honestly, corporate <laughs> managers and heads can't be fucking trusted. So yeah. 
it, it, it's so ridiculous. And then we have another story by the liver. Airlines filed 1,800 reports warning regulators about Boeing's 737 MAX after the planes resumed flying in 2020. Documents show operators reported hundreds of safety problems to federal regulators. So yeah, over the last three years, the operators of Boeing's troubled, troubled 737 MAX planes have filled more than 18 or filed more than 1,800 service difficulty reports. More than one per day since uh, over the last three years. Think about this. More than one per day is what it equals out to over the last three years. It's ridiculous is what it is. This is why we are supposed to have regulations. So shit like this doesn't happen. So the train derailment that fucking happened in Ohio wouldn't have been as dangerous of a situation. We are supposed to have regulations for that. They are a needed thing because corporate heads are only there because they give a goddamn about money. They don't give a shit about anything else. Let's be honest about it. Let's be honest about it. Warning government regulators about safety problems with the aircraft since the fleet was allowed to resume flying after two fatal crashes. All but roughly 150 of the reports came from Alaska Airlines, the operator of the 737 MAX plane, that suffered a mid-air cabin breach over Portland, Oregon earlier this month. So yeah, nationalize the fuck out of Boeing until it fixes its goddamn problem is my response. The Boeing disaster with Matt Stoller and William McGee. They have an online event and discuss the Boeing's debacle and took questions directly from readers with the help of two experts. I won't play that here, but yeah, I'll have these links in the description box under the video. As always, guys. So you're more than welcome to look it up. They've got links to videos to watch. And then you love to see it. Regulators come for Boeing and company. Following the levers reporting, the companies behind a recent airliner accident could be facing a reckoning. Good things are happening. Federal regulators are now investigating Boeing and its longtime subcontractor, Spirit Aerosystems, after a series of lever reports revealed widespread corporate malfeasance following a terrifying plane malfunction. You know, this goes with the fact, like I call this era, the second Gilded Age. Because guess what? In the first Gilded Age, they didn't care about consumers. They just wanted your money.
And they did what they could to earn more money. Fair or not. Legal or not. And part of it was essentially just... Things screwed up? I don't give a damn. Hide the fact. Yeah. They did the same thing in that first Gilded Age. And that's, that's what we've got now. That's why I keep saying this is a second Gilded Age. There may be more money, but it's only to a few people. Boeing and Spirit made headlines recently after a door plug manufactured by uh, Spirit blew off of a Boeing 737 MAX plane mid-flight over Portland, Oregon. The high-altitude debacle comes after two 737 MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 together killed 346 people and another fatal incident in 2018 saw a woman partially sucked out of a plane when a small engine explosion shattered a window. These are human lives, people. This is what I mean. These companies don't give a damn. For them, it's all about profit motive. The Lever's breaking story on Monday detailed reports of a toxic work culture at Spirit where employees were allegedly told to falsify safety records and were reportedly fired for speaking out. Then we uncovered how Boeing lobbied for weakened safety regulations and a boost in in production levels by spending tens of millions in Washington. And this is your congressman helping these bastards get richer by not having to put as much caution into what they do. This is your elected officials in Congress. Call your elected official. You should be out there telling them, this is not what I fucking want. I want you to hold the bastards accountable. Not take money from them and then do what they want, making things, you know, worse for the average American. On Thursday, the lever detailed how former South Carolina governor and current GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley helped kill a plan to force Boeing to dis fully disclose its political spending, part of an ongoing battle for more oversight of the company's political efforts. So, yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, even Nikki Haley. <laughs> it, it, it shows you how corrupt this goes. How high. Haley, Trump, Biden, all these fucks. If you think they don't have hands in this... You need to do your research. Seriously. And on Liver Time this week, David Sirota and his podcast guests explored how the air travel industry has been transformed from the paragon of engineering and innovation into cost-cutting, regulation-dodging piggy banks 
for Wall Street investors and how that shift could now be endangering airline passengers. So yeah, like I said, it's all about that money, baby. But now, here's the good news. Thanks in part to the reporting, federal regulators are finally getting their act together and investigating the two companies behind the current debacle. The FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, which oversees the airlines industry, announced Friday that it is opening an investigation into Boeing's quality control process, saying in part that the door plug blowout should never have happened and it cannot happen again. This is long overdue. Former Representative Peter DeFazio of Oregon and former chair of the House Transportation Committee towed the lever. It's inconceivable that Boeing managers, top managers, and CEO did not know that Spirit Aerosystems was producing shoddy products. But Boeing was happy with it because it was cheap. Just like everything else, Boeing is chasing the bottom line instead of the way the company used to be, which was the greatest, safe, safest engineering aerospace company in the world. Spirit is also being investigated by the FAA. Washington Post reported Thursday. DeFazio noted that the investigations into Spirit and Boeing constitute a big step in the right direction and the credits the lever and other news outlets for pushing regulators to investigate the issue. I think the press covering people who are blowing whistles like the lever their investigative work, it's all added up to get us to this point where finally Boeing is going to be held accountable. So yeah. It's about time. This story was developing over a period of the month of January and it needed to happen. But we'll go ahead and end this episode. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting all four links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.